Hi there and welcome to this lecture about Sweden's history. Today we will talk about Sweden from the 1970s to 2015. My name is Marcus Henriksson and I'm a history teacher here in Sweden. So let's begin in the year 1969. Sweden at that time got a new prime minister named Olof Palme and he implemented a new form of government that gave the government and the parliament here in Sweden all the power. He was also a very strong critic against the Vietnam War which was now going on in the early 70s. During this time we have a very famous Swedish author named Astrid Lindgren. She has written books such as Pippi Longstocking, which here in Sweden also have become a TV series and some movies. She also wrote The Brothers Lionheart, Miu, My Son, which have become a movie starring famous actors such as Christian Bale. During this time we can also see a very famous Swedish film director Ingmar Bergman. But during the 70s, the Swedish economy collapsed. Why, you might ask? Well, the Swedish industry during this time could not cope with the competition from around the world. This thing contributed to the collapse, but also a series of stupid government projects and decisions, which basically cost us a lot of money. This in combination with higher oil prices due to war, mostly in the Middle East, all contributed to the fact that the Swedish economy broke. In 1973 we got a new king here in Sweden named Karl the 16 Gustav. Here is a picture of him and his wife Sylvia. Sweden during the 70s also had a close cooperation, uh, cooperation with the United States. We helped the CIA to spy on the Soviet Union. We also start to sell a lot of weapons, mostly airplanes such as JAS-39 Gripen, which you can see here in the picture. And we also sold a lot of furniture during this time. A company called IKEA became extremely popular here in Sweden, but also abroad. During the Cold War we can see some incidents here in Sweden. Take for example the U-boat U-137, which was a Soviet submarine that ran aground outside a town here in Sweden called Kolskrona in 1981. Many people here in Sweden felt scared and unsafe. During the 70s we can also see some famous Swedish music bands such as ABBA. They have songs like Mamma Mia at Waterloo and they have won the Eurovision Song Contest. We also have some famous Swedish athletes such as Björn Borg in tennis and Ingmar Stenmark in skiing. During the 80s we can see famous rock bands such as Europe, they have written songs like The Final Countdown and Roxette. In 1981 the Green Party here in Sweden was founded. Primarily they tried to prevent nuclear power from use here in Sweden but also to focus more on the environment and the climate change that we can see today. In 1984 the Swedish Pound system was founded which is basically a system of return and earn that allowed Swedes to reclaim some money if they go to the stores with their bottles. 
Olof Palme was then murdered here in Sweden. He was shot in Stockholm, the capital, in February 1986 by an unknown perpetrator. He had a lot of enemies. The primary suspects were Viktor Gunnarsson, a right wing poem critic, Stig Engström, he may have been supported by the CIA, he also disliked Palmelot, Christer Pettersson, PKK, a terrorist group based in Turkey, and of course United States and CIA. The murder of Olof Palme started the world's longest murder investigation. It lasted over 30 years. And over 130 people have confessed that they have committed the murder. During the mid-1980s here in Sweden, we can see an overheating of the Swedish economy. The central bank here in Sweden, also called Riksbanken, released the loan ceiling. This in fact led to a housing bubble that burst and many people here in Sweden became heavily indebted, interest rates had hit new records, etc. During the 80s, we can also see the, uh, the Swedish gaming wonder start. Computers were now subsidized by the Swedish government and internet cables were laid across the country. We can also see that arcades became increasingly popular here in Sweden. In 1994, a ship called Estonia sank and over 800 Swedish people died. It's still unclear why and a law has been introduced here in Sweden that basically forbade people to investigate uh, this tragedy. During this year, the Swedish government made a new law that is called Allemansrätten or All Man's Rights, which is in, uh, in fact a law that makes the Swedish forests available for all people, not just the owners. In 1995, Sweden joined the EU after a major referendum, I might add. H&M, a company that was founded here in Sweden in 1947, now became increasingly popular and a huge success worldwide. First here in Sweden, but then they expanded across the world. 1996, we got a new prime minister here in Sweden, another social democrat, this time a man named Göran Persson. He started to sell out a lot of government or state-controlled enterprises and networks, such as the electricity network, the telephone network. He also changed the Swedish pension system, the Swedish school system, etc. We can now also see the start of many Swedish computer companies, such as DICE. They created the famous pinball game. Sweden said no to the euro in 2003. That year we can also see the murder of a Swedish politician named Anna Lind. She was Sweden's former foreign minister. She was killed by a man named Milo Mihailovic. During the early 2000s here in Sweden, we experienced an ever-increasingly large immigration. This, in fact, without an increase in the availability of new jobs. This, in fact, created an ever-increasingly number of people who were, let's say, in need of subsidies in order to survive. This year, 2006, we can also see that Sweden became the first team to win both tournaments, uh, tournaments in the same calendar year. By winning the 2006 Winter Olympics, 
and the World Championship in hockey. Because of the Social Democrats' politics, which basically was to increase immigration without increasing the jobs, the moderate party here in Sweden gained increasingly support by the Swedish populace and received 26 of the votes uh, percent that is uh, in the 2006 parliamentary election. This was their best result since 1928. They promised to fix the problems here in Sweden. They focused on uh, reducing the unemployment and reduce the number of benefit uh, recipients. They said that they would fight for the workers and that they had now become the new Labour Party here in Sweden. But they got off to a really bad start. In Sweden we can now see the so-called ministerial affair. Uh, basically several ministers had fiddled with the taxes, they had not paid the TV license and they had also hired some black cleaning help. This ended with uh, that several ministers were forced to resign, for example the trade minister Maria, uh, Maria Borelius. The right-wing government under the new prime minister here in Sweden, Fredrik Reinfeldt, uh, the man you can see here in the picture, now began to control Sweden and try to fix the problems. He started by selling off some state-owned companies and enterprises and monopolies, uh, basically to fund tax cuts, hoping that this would in fact create more people and more jobs for, uh, for them. An example of their privatization is the pharmacy monopoly, which was abolished. But in the year 2008, we can see the economy crash uh, first in the United States, but then it spread to Europe and also to Sweden. So the unemployment rate here in Sweden increased. Swedbank, one of the largest banks here in Sweden, was close to collapse, but they were saved in the last minute by the Swedish government. They gave them a bunch of money so that they wouldn't go under. During this time we can also see an uh, increasingly difficulty for young people here in Sweden to find jobs. Uh, but we didn't have any problems in the gaming industry. We can instead see huge successes and great games such as Battlefield. We also have the famous King Studios, which was founded here in Sweden, and they have created games such as Candy Crush. We also have Paradox, founded uh, 2004 and they have produced great games such as Crusader Kings, uh, Stellaris, uh, City Skyliners, Europa Universalis, etc. We can now also see the rise of new famous Swedish athletes such as Slatan Ibrahimovic. A fun fact, he is more known here in Sweden than the Swedish king. He has played for some big clubs in Europe, such as Barcelona, Milan and Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, he also has received a huge number of prizes here in Sweden and some statues. Here are some other famous Swedish athletes. Anja Persson, a former alpine ska skier. Uh, she has won several world championships. Annika Sörenstam, a Swedish prof uh, professional golfer. She is regarded by many as one of the best female golfers in history. Therese Alsammar, a Swedish simmer. She has won three Olympic medals, 25 World Championships and 43 European Championship medals. And Carolina Klyft. 2010, uh, a continued high support for the moderate party here in Sweden, despite the financial crisis. We can also see a new big celebrity here in Sweden, Sara Larsson. 
and the royal marriage between Princess Victoria and her husband Daniel. Sweden in 2012 won the Eurovision with Lorraine. The song was Euphoria. But between 2012 and 2014, the voter support for the moderate party here in Sweden decreased a lot. Mostly because they couldn't get people employed. So the Social Democrats then regained power. So we got the new prime minister here in Sweden named Stefan Löfven, the man in the picture here. But it was in fact a weak government, because they didn't have a majority in the Swedish parliament. This was mostly due to the fact that we can now see another Swedish party named Sweden Democrats, who had gained increasingly support during this time. So either the right side or the left side could gain support for their laws and projects, etc., in the Swedish parliament without the Sweden Democrats. This, in fact, did the Social Democrats really angry, especially the Prime Minister Stefan Löfven. So instead of blaming themselves for creating a weak government without a majority in the Swedish parliament, they blamed the Sweden Democrats. And he instead threatened to call new elections if they couldn't reach a settlement. And this would in fact had benefited the Social Democrats because they have most money. So the agreement that they made was called the December, December Agreement, which I personally like to call We Ignore the Sweden Democrats League. But it fell nine months later. In 2015, it was time again for another European uh, Eurovision victory here uh, with a new artist named Mons Selmulav. The song he won was called Heroes. And yeah, we can see during this time a continue of Sweden dominance digitally. We have PewDiePie, the world's largest YouTuber. We also now created the game Minecraft. Uh, it was created by a Swede named Marcus Persson. And it has sold over 200 million copies worldwide. And the company Mojang has a market capitalization of around 10 billion. We also can see the foundation of a new internet company named Klarna. And they are now a huge internet bank. Here is one of their commercials with the artist Snoop Dogg. During this time, we can also see the creation of a very large website known as the Pirate Bay, which is basically the world's largest torrent site. This in fact led to a creation of a new Swedish company named Spotify, which was founded 2006 by a man named Daniel Ek. And we can also see the creation of the Millennium Books by Stig Larsson, which is the best-selling Swedish books of all time. So I hope that you, during this short lecture, have gained some new knowledge about Sweden's history. But you, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. The sources I've used for this video are books like Perspective on History by Lars Hans and Urian Nyström, History by Elisabeth Ivansson and Matthias Todai. Uh, Social Science by Ulla M. Andersson, Per Evert and Jurel Hedengren. Uh, the Murder of Olof Palme uh, website, Wikipedia, The Murder of Olof Palme, Wikipedia, uh, Carl uh, 16 Gustav, Wikipedia, Sweden's History, Wikipedia, Estonia Cat uh, Catastrophe. And also a documentary series that is called The Swedish Gaming Wonder, part y, uh, 1 to 5. So have a great day now. Bye.